what do you do if a client goes ghost? They disappear, they're incommunicado. Hi guys, my name is Deepak Shukla, founder of the Pearl Lemon Group. We're a business growth and development agency based in the UK, USA, as well as serving clients worldwide. And here today, in day number 75, we're here to talk about oh, fundamentally what to do if a client just kind of disappears. But before we get into it, if you need any support with your communications training, feel free to contact us as well as click the link in the description below to get access to seven additional strategies that are not shared in this training. So look, it's always challenging if a client goes ghost, if they just stop responding. And, you know, first of all, there's the understanding or, or thinking about the different reasons why they might go ghost. So it's a little bit like a, well, it's a relationship, isn't it? So did they have a pattern of going ghost? When they have gone ghost, do they come back? At what periods do they typically go ghost? And what are their reasons when they go ghost for when they come, what they, they describe when they come back? You know, we've got some clients that do go ghost and it turns out they've been traveling through Mexico with their children or they've opened up a new showroom or it was a religious holiday, which meant that they did not respond for 10 days. So we have situations like that that do happen. OK, now, when you haven't got to know your client and you're unsure of what's going on, then the I mean, the advice doesn't really change irrespective of the reason why broadly, which is that you, you just try a regular check in fundamentally, because that's what a client will see and determine as as care, really. And they will tell you if they, you know, clients will be good at telling you if you pester them. OK, clients will be good at telling you that you don't need to message me so, so much. You don't need to WhatsApp me so much. And at, at, at best, depending upon again the urgency with which you need to communicate and what's happening at, at, at the most it could be if a website goes down and it's a huge traffic website that's quite urgent you might try them a couple of times a day if it's just generally to ask for some support it might be you know if it's something that's slightly urgent maybe once a day and then it can you know ha go go move to twice a week once a week and you know at, at, at the probably least once a week is 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 what you would do but 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 this is fundamentally to underline when it comes to directly contacting your client if a client goes ghost and you need them then there's no reason why you can't contact the people around them so if they've got decision makers that work alongside them if they've got anybody that works alongside them feel free to reach out to them to just find out you know if they could pass a message on or to find out what's happening and sometimes that some that, that that is something that you could you could also explore and investigate. I mean, we've done that, and unfortunately, we we've had an experience where it turned out our client passed away, um, and that was why he 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 was not responding to messages. So there is no shortage of different reasons why a client might go ghost. All you can do in those instances is do a regular check in and just try a different medium if one medium doesn't work and then beyond that when it reaches a time at which you think this is unusual contact their colleague contact their colleagues fundamentally and see where that gets you and then beyond that there's not a lot that you can do but demonstrate that you've tried definitely demonstrate that you've contacted some of their colleagues do do those things and between all of that you should generally get an answer there's not really ever been a case, to be honest with you, where you've ultimately not got an answer when we've tried multiple mediums, email, WhatsApp, Slack, LinkedIn, and where that hasn't worked, we contact a colleague or two, and then someone typically provides you with an answer. So do not walk away from a conversation with a client that has gone ghost without contacting one of their colleagues, and you should almost always come up with ultimately a uh, response for what's happening and, and and take the appropriate action and then beyond that there's nothing else that you could do you just put the campaign on pause and wait for the client to return so there you have it guys that's what you should do if the client goes ghost